Okay, HD, um, that's quite an interesting problem. Um, one of the things I'm going to ask you to do first is check which version of the GIMP you're using. Um, obviously, the stuff I'm about to show you on my version of the GIMP, I know for a fact works on mine, but if you've got an older version, then maybe some of the old functionality or some of the newer functionality doesn't, you know, maybe the GIMP wasn't quite as powerful as it was the version you're using. So, and you can see that from the screenshots of our two videos, um, I think you know these ones are the newer um, icons. You're still using a, an older version, I think. Um, if you go to Help and About, it will tell you exactly what version you're using. Now, this one isn't the newest one by any means. Um, I think we're currently on 2.4.5. But what that means is that everything after 2.4 onwards, everything in the 2.4 series, will just be bug fixes. Um, I, I suspect that you're currently using 2.2 point something, um, which will be a slightly older version of the program with older functions, and, and as I say, maybe it's not as powerful. So it might be worth your while um, uninstalling the GIMP you currently have, and then going back to GIMP.org and downloading the latest stable version, which as I say, I think is 2.4.5. Um, so that should from what I would think, from what you've shown me, I think that will solve all of the problems, to be honest. Because when I try and do what you've been trying to do um, on the same picture, and um, I hope you noticed that I have got the same picture, that's a level of service you don't normally get. Um, if I just start doing this and I make a deliberate mistake, you're right in saying that you can't actually correct that one yet. I can't drag that one over. It will just draw a new line. Um, but as you've pointed out, you can actually move the middle point so really if you do make a mistake rather than trying to correct it immediately your best bet is to just draw a line in the next logical spot and then just dragging that back and it will sort it out um, so you can't actually do that with the end line but you can do it with a middle line so just make your problem point a middle point and then just drag it around as you want yeah, regularly so really that's the quick way or that's really the only answer I can see if that doesn't work and if it just continues to not work and even, I mean, I saw you, what you were trying to do it just wasn't working um, I, I suspect the only difference between the two GIMPs that we're running is mine's a later version than yours and I think that's the only solution just by getting the newer one um, I don't know what was causing it to not follow the mouse as accurately as you were you know, showing you know you going one way and it going another. Again, I think that may just be bugs in the version of GIMP that you're using. Um, so really, I mean, I think it's just a case of downloading the later version, where hopefully those bugs have been ironed out. Um, the second thing, I think again, it's just another bug with the GIMP you're using. Um, I've got round to the point where I want to link my two um, endpoints up, and very simply, all I need to do is hover over that and you'll see that the icon changes. The icon changes from um, the intelligent scissors with the cursor um, to the left side of it and above it to the right there should be just a, a tiny little plus sign to show that I just want to add to the intelligent scissors selection. When I hover over the end point though that plus sign changes into like a figure eight on its side. Um, I guess it's supposed to represent I don't know two points linking together like a link in a chain. Um, but that should change to that link. Um, if it's not doing that, then when you click it, it doesn't know that you're trying to link. Um, but mine there has. And then when I go into the middle of the image, um, there's nothing above that where the link sign was or where the plus sign was. If I hover outside of my selection, it actually changes to a kind of uh, forbidden sign, like a, a circle with a line through it, um, to show that I can't s click outside of that selection. But if I go inside that selection and click then we should very simply get see the marching ants. Um, now having seen what you're doing, you are doing all of the right things. Um, you're not doing anything wrong. So I don't think it's you. I think it must be the version of the GIMP that you're using. Um, that's all I can put it down to. Um, that's the only solution I can see at the moment. Um, if you try that and you still have trouble, um, then by all means get back in touch with me. But really until you try and do these tasks on the latest version of GIMP um, it will be difficult to say you know, really if there is any other problem than that but I mean I hope you have um, 
a chance to download a later version of the GIMP or the latest version of the GIMP and I hope that does sort it out for you um, I can see that that would probably be quite frustrating because without the intelligent scissors you know you, you pretty much without one of the most important tools um, but I hope that clears it up for you I hope that answers your question and by all means if it doesn't then you know get back in touch but anyway um, I hope this helps you and I hope it's uh, a little less frustrating in future anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later